Well, forward indeed, listing and selling real estate. My name is Mark Dwyer, and I'd like to welcome you to the Corporate Real Estate Agency Management System, and indeed the new arm of that, which of course is Sales Manager. And the latest product from the Sales Manager suite is of course, STEAM. Now STEAM's a clever little acronym for Sales, Team, Engineering, and Management. So of course, the first question we ask is, what is STEAM? What is STEAM in terms of its intent? Well, as we've said, the sales manager's role, being the missing link, is intended to apply pressure on listings in sales, basically in terms of productivity, and of course, efficiency. So the obvious intent is to produce more, but importantly, as we say here, with consistency. What we're looking to do, which we typically see in a lot of real estate sales teams, is inconsistency in terms of the results that they produce at the end of the month. Quite often, we observe that teams will have one, two, or maybe three absolutely colossal months during the course of a, a year. They'll have around half a dozen, what we call average months or just kind of break even months. And then of course, there's those disastrous months where the productivity is below par to the point where horror of all horrors, the businesses can actually be losing money. The real estate agencies can be losing money. We identify this as the one in four syndrome. And it's the thing that we want to demonstrate with the application of this training and support regime so that we can avoid that and introduce consistency. Secondly, we want accountability. Now, not just at the salesperson's level, we think that's a given, but we're now talking about with this definition of a role inside of the sales manager, we have absolute accountability for the team's results, and that falls, of course, back to the sales manager. And we want accountability in, accountability in every imaginable way, in much the same way as an individual salesperson is responsible and answerable at the end of each month or each quarter, whatever, on their listings and sales. We want the same thing to occur with on the whole, with the group, with the collective, with the sales manager. And then of course, there's that third component, growth. To actually set fundamental targets, but importantly goals, both annually quarterly and indeed monthly, all the way down to weekly, where we see steadfast growth in the productivity of that sales team. Till we reach what we call a wheel spinning level, where we can then identify areas where we've got to forge ahead and I guess start to explore greater markets. So how are we looking to deliver steam in a practical sense? Well, to explain this, we've come up with a secondary acronym. Support, training, equipment, access, and mentoring. In much the same way as the hugely successful Sales Trainer Active for salespeople has delivered, well, support, it's delivered a resource, it's delivered training, and indeed it's delivered recognition. Well, with STEAM at, for the sales manager, in the first instance, we're looking to provide support in an online mechanism, a place where the sales manager can call for advice and assistance and get it not just over a telephone, not just explained, but then detailed out in a report that, that is, is sent back, whatever the problem might be. Now, the turnaround on this might be 24 hours if it's a problem that's not an urgent one. But of course, if there's something that needs urgent attention, it's just a, a phone call away to have somebody who's experienced in this area to bounce the problem off and to offer some advice. Of course, there's the training. We have the two-day real estate sales management course, probably the first of its kind, where it's specialized in just showing the mechanisms that allow you to control, monitor, and grow the consistency of the sales team. And then of course there's equipment. We all crave the letters, templates, all sorts of protocols, props that are available for sales teams, all the way through to all the information and material you might need in a sales um, meeting, or in a planning meeting, 
or actually in a one-on-one -on -one with a salesperson. Or perhaps there might be some sales initiative or listing initiative or prospecting drive. All of this equipment will be available online to instantly download and bring into the business. And of course, there's access to what we call affordable, um, hands-on, in-house training. Yes, that's right, in the most part, <laughs> for those of you that have had the experience, we'll have somebody out to the team. At this stage, it's typically yours truly. And I'm more than happy you know, to share 25 years of experience out there in the field, hands-on, managing sales teams to higher efficiency. Or well, not just higher efficiency, but deliverable productivity. I always like to measure the success that I have with a sales team basically on the listings and sales in addition that are achieved from having had that interaction with the sales team. So we want to make this affordable so you can have this inside and you can actually see in a, you know, well, a fashion where we demonstratively show you how to lift the listings and sales. And then of course there's mentoring. So we don't want to have a system or a, or a product whereby you come along, you see the two day sales management course, but then you come away and you may be a little bit unsure about implementation or whatever that might be. So basically, we're going to have mentoring where we continually inspire you to forge ahead and progress with implementation of the sales management system. This is the, practical, the practicality of it, but also we must understand that it is basically a work in progress. It is a work in progress that's not determined by us here, but largely in reaction and I guess research and an understanding of what you need out there, what you, the members of STEAM need to drive this forward so that we can sit behind and drive you and your business uh, to higher levels of productivity and efficiency and indeed growth where you can actually reach the point of saturation within your given markets. So the first arm of that acronym is support. And when we talk about advice, this will be freely available at corporatemanager.com.au. Again, it's a, a, a website where you can come on, you can ask for advice or assistance, it will be forthcoming within a 24 hour time frame. And of course, should that advice or assistance be successful, well then there'll be what we call a history database that is readily accessible by other members, where you can actually have a bird's eye view or become involved in an issue that might parallel one that you're having inside of your, your very own sales team. And then of course there's assistance. So we not only give you the advice over over the phone on how to react to any given situation, any given management problem that you might have within the sales team. But we also go ahead and document this. So it's almost like we write a prescription to suit or to remedy the problem that you are confronting or the challenge that you're confronting inside of the agency or the sales team. And of course, then there's that assurance. Even if it's just Support in the sense that you just want somebody to bounce something off, to get an idea whether you're on the right track with something or the team's headed in the right direction or you are reacting to whatever challenge you are confronted with along the way. We want you to feel like there is a third party that's impartial to anything but seeing you succeed with the sales team in terms of, and I'll keep coming back to this, those listings and sales. From support, we move across to training. And this is represented by the eight sessions covered over a two day period of the training regime or the training course STEAM. We begin session one with the real estate sales manager by defining what a real estate sales manager is. In the first instance, we talk about the responsibility that rests with the sales manager. Now, fundamentally that of course is to ensure that listings and sales are occurring on a daily basis, headed towards predetermined goals and making sure that that team delivers on those predetermined goals. We secondly look at the, the attributes that you have to have. Do you have what it takes to be a sales manager? 
So basically, we profile a sales manager, we look at certain attributes that should be in place, and then of course, we allow you to create a self-evaluation and then figure out what areas you may need to improve upon and of course, identifying the strengths that you have so you can capitalize on those and forge ahead with your effectiveness as a sales manager. And then of course, there's the success factor. You know, how do you know when you have it? Now, I identify this inside a sales trainer when I talk about the it factor, the ability to empathize without sympathizing. And for a lot of salespeople, this takes several years to develop to the point where everybody says that about you. He or she has got it. Well, in the same fashion, we want to look at that on a sales manager level. How do you know when you actually have the it factor? You are the it in terms of sales management. The second session that we'll be looking at is planned listings and revenue growth. Now, what we want to do is start to look at the revenue that comes from the sales department in a fashion where we're able to, in the first instance, have a good look at your situation, where you're at, and if you are struggling, why? And to do this, we have to run an analysis. We have to understand where our listings and sales are coming from currently and why there might be some certain deficiencies. In the second instance, we start to look at the destination. What are the goals that you have in terms of listings and sales productivity for the team, for the collective, yep, and where you actually need to go? So what sort of numbers do you need to arrive at to know that you are managing the team towards success? And then from there, we start to design a plan. Basically, having now having identified the destination, we now have to figure out the journey, the, the, the route that we're going to take to ensure that we reach that consistent level where we can be accountable and we can plan for growth inside of that sales department. So of course, we're talking about the plan. How are we going to get there? In the third session, we look at something that to, from everything that I've done inside of real estate sales, from a salesperson through to a sales manager, and indeed to owning and operating multiple offices, I've always understood that it's always about GML, get more listings, which is why you see this little image here with the sales trader label on it, the GML 100 mils for long lasting relief from pretty much everything that ails a real estate agent. In the same way when I'm talking to a, any sales person or any sales team, I say, is there any problem we have inside this sales business that can't be solved with a quick 10 sales? And of course, sales in the real estate industry come from listings. And what we wanna look at in the first instance is how do we increase presence within your defined markets because it's presence that creates the attraction for new listings to, to come across to your business. How do you position yourself to be what I call one of the big three in any area that you're operating? Because there's typically three agencies or age, you know, brands that are dominating most marketplaces and they are an automatic consideration. And of course, if you're not an automatic consideration, we typically say this comes back to presence in every imaginable way. Physical presence where your signs are everywhere. In the second instance, mental presence where you actually own uh, a space inside of the, the, the market's head where if they should they decide to sell, they make you an automatic consideration. In the second instance, we want to show you how to start to eye off and then indeed eventually break into new markets. So I'm talking neighbor, that just could be geographic. It may be that you've got a certain market that you're doing quite well with, but you've never been able to cross the boundary to a prestige market or maybe into project marketing. So we've talked to you about breaking into those new markets and how you can do that with the sales team. And then finally, as I alluded to earlier on, how to attract more sellers, how to actually have the absolute momentum that's created by the sales team, not just through the old fashioned prospecting methods, but what I call attraction marketing, so that you actually have more sellers coming to your agency every day, and indeed the sales team. Because we can't get away from this very important factor in the terms of the sales manager. It's not the sales manager's job 
to make the lion's share of the sales for the team. The sales manager's job is to make the bulk of the sales through that third party, through the sales team itself. In the afternoon of the first day, we move to session four, which is about consistent and systematic productivity. Now, earlier on in this recording, I alluded to what I call the one in four syndrome. And in the first instance in this session, we want to explain how you can avoid those bad months, those months where you could be losing money or your productivity is so dismal so below par that it can actually cause a knee-jerk reaction. So let's say there's not a lot of sales because prices are too high. So the entire team's focus is driven towards getting prices back. And whilst this is occurring, you know, we have a drop-off uh, in focus on bringing on new listings. And of course, once we actually get the prices back and the sales come, next minute you know, we're back focusing on prospecting. And when this happens, the eye is taken off the ball on price reductions so no sales occur. So we want to show you how to avoid those bad months by explaining why the one in four syndrome actually comes into play and how to, as a sales manager, influence and control the team so that you retain that consistency rather than having the bad months. Secondly, we want to talk at great length on how to control the stock quality, your listing inventory, how to actually identify and change the culture as best you can because in most real estate sales businesses, way too much emphasis is placed upon price. We want to show you how to absolutely eliminate price as the contingent factor by which property sellers choose you in the first instance, in the second instance by which they then are actually managed across the line toward a successful sale. And in the third instance, how to actually, even to a, to a large extent, take the buyer's eyes off the price and get it back onto property. We want to show you how to control the quality of stock the way it was intended to be. To, from buyer's perspective, to match them up so that they're buying homes. From the seller's perspective, to have their eyes squarely focused on their motive. And of course, for the sales team to be squarely focused on productivity and efficiency. And in the third instance, we want to talk to you about systemizing your sales productivity. All the things that you need to do to ensure on a daily basis that every function is being coordinated, but importantly, performed with the sales within the sales team so that you have absolutely consistent, absolute consistency right throughout the team and of course you are you can almost premeditate the results that you're going to have at the beginning of the month we will get consistent and systematic productivity the second day of steam kicks off with what's i guess the most important function i believe of every sales team you know i noticed on facebook the other day that there was some banter about sales meetings and their irrelevance or their ineffectiveness uh, right down to the point where some salespeople are actually saying that they're boring. Now I can tell you that if you look at the sales meeting the right way, it is definitely the most effective tool that any sales manager can actually use to create productivity, to monitor productivity, but importantly, to give them control over the listings and sales. Now, what we're going to show you what to expect from any type of sales meeting. Now, we don't care whether it's quarterly, monthly, or weekly. We show you what expectations you should have from that meeting. We show you how to set expectations up. So we move on what to actually say and do inside each of these meetings to ensure that the productivity is identified and then delivered upon. We show you what to do to ensure that the meeting, that you can come away from that meeting and absolutely ensure that it was a success, which is typically measured by the actions that are taken after that meeting has occurred. I cannot begin to tell you how important as a sales manager this particular session is. You'll never look at sales meetings the same way ever again. In fact, what I end up saying to you is this, you will judge the quality 
of a sales meeting based upon the numbers of listings and sales that will actually be realized as a result, right down to the point where you can almost put a dollar figure on the sales meeting that you've just held. Having gotten out of the way the meetings, having talked about all of the other things about consistency, certainly about defining the sales manager's role on the previous day, we now move to the everyday stuff. Monitoring, mentoring, and managing in a hands-on fashion, in a practical fashion, the sales team. What to keep an ever vigilant eye on, and I guess what to look out for. What are the key factors that tell you that something might go wrong? We say that in terms of uh, sales management, it's basically leadership, and every great leader has incredible patience, but more importantly, they have foresight, the ability to look ahead, knowing full well the conditions that they're confronted with on a daily basis, and if the actions are taken immediately, what could be a hazard in a couple of days. So we, keep, we teach you what to keep that vigilant eye out for. And then, of course, we show you what to proactively deliver in response. Should you identify any of these factors, we show you how to deliver the response with the sales team and lead them so that they're avoiding the hazards that they confront on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. And then, of course, we show you what to practically and habitually do day by day. How do you actually lead the team to install a culture that is driving them forward on productivity and efficiency? How do you actually lift that feel? How do you make sure that you can mentor and manage not just the individual, but the sales team as a collective, as a whole? Then we move to an area which I can tell you as a sales manager, as an owner and operator of real estate businesses, um, this is for me the fun stuff, what I call hyper productivity tools. Now every real estate sales team, no matter how good you are, from time to time there might be a lack. We get into a deficiency area. Now, of course, this could be for prospects. Suddenly there's a decline in listings because we just don't have an influx of or a consistent influx of listing prospects at any one time. So we start to show you little regimes, little protocols, little tools that you can use at will to create an, an immediate influx of prospects. Right down to one of the first things we talk about is the blitz, where you can absolutely flush out every single potential seller at will right the way through to something we call operation appointment, which can be done on a regular, can be done on a quarterly, right down to even monthly basis. We, we don't necessarily recommend the overuse of this, but basically at will, within a single afternoon, or perhaps even an entire day, you can create a predetermined number of listing appointments and actually achieve that with an absolute focus on it. For listings, if you might decide as we have done over the years, you see the first one here, we call it Operation Wipeout, where we go in, and not just as we recommend in the biggest lister for sales individuals, but for a sales team, where you might decide to exceed your record month as a team. Now, I remember many, many years ago, we had a, a figure, I think it was about the most that we'd done was in the 50s or 60s. We had a concerted effort. We had a team of, I think it was four or maybe five salespeople, and we actually listed 83 properties in a single month. And then, of course, how you can use the biggest lister here, which is, of course, the uh, one of the programs we have inside of Sales Trainer Active, how you can direct your salespeople toward that and how the biggest lister can help those individuals exceed their expectations and drive them toward consistent and permanent productivity in terms of double-figure listings. And then, of course, if there's ever a deficiency of sales because stock's not moving or prices have come back or maybe the uh, Reserve Bank's done something harebrained again and it's caused a deficiency in sales, and how you can immediately counter that. Now, we talk about price reductions occurring on a regular basis, but we have another program called the Hit Parade where we go out and in a space of less than 
72 hours, we can have a definable number of properties on the, on the listing inventory under complete control and have them walk out the door within the space of a week. How to create that quick 10 sales I often allude to. Or if you want to go over the top at the end of a quarter maybe and where you just decide for a single month you're going to have a record sales month, we have another program called the Clearance Sale. So we'll introduce you to these hyper productivity tools where you can boost the productivity of the team with the utilization of these tools at will. Now, of course, in this final session, no training regime on sales team management would not be complete without us talking about the actual sales team. Now, it's important. To me, a sales team is no different to a sporting team or a champion team. And obviously, every sales manager should have it in mind to turn their team into a team of champ champions. Now, in order to do this, you have to know when it is important to evaluate each of your team members. Also, I imagine that you would probably not be as, as, as uh, uh, sure or as definite as you perhaps should be on how you actually rate each of those team members, how you are able to evaluate their performance right down to actually just giving them a number which then tells you where they fit inside the team. Secondly, we want to talk about when it's important to start thinking about well ahead of any disaster actually striking about rebuilding or perhaps reinventing the team and actually driving it forward where you can reinvigorate, rejuvenate and drive that team forward again. But then of course, there's also that important, all important point when it's time to pa pass the captaincy baton along. So if you're an owner, principal that's always uh, that's, um, also um, managing their sales team, we hope to share with you when it's important for you to pass the baton along to somebody inside that team that just might have the right stuff that could elevate them into the sales manager's role. So this is, Steam. this is the two-day training course that I guarantee you will create an instant boost in listings and sales productivity, but more importantly, create that consistency so that you can actually have a business that is bankable. You can actually predetermine where that sales revenue is going to come from. So long as you are managing that effectively through Cream, you'll never look back. Having covered off the support mechanism and indeed the two-day training mechanism of Steam, we now move to equipment. And here you'll find a dedicated online resource that's on Simmer as it says there, but ready to go. You can at, at will simply log on and have access to all of the systems that we talk about inside of Steam, inside of the two-day training course. All of the systems that you need in terms of their implementation and instructions as such, the tools, the props, everything that you need, right down to checklists, whatever that might be. There'll be communication tools in there as well, whether it be letters that you need to actually support you with uh, price reductions from a management level right down to a sales level. All of those things that you need and then indeed the protocols. And of course, there's the Sales Trainer Active Membership. So by virtue of the fact that you've signed up for Steam, for Sales Manager, you will automatically receive an instant Sales Trainer Active Membership as well. Now, of course, if you're using Listing Pad and Property Marketer, you might already have that, but we believe that if you're actually on one product, you need to have access to the others as well and the equipment is there and if it's not there you simply need to put into the, re the, re the request and we'll write that letter we'll write the implementation we'll write the checklist or we will have it formulated so that it's instantly accessible online the next component of the steam acronym is access now we call this steam shot and steam shot is basically what we referred to before as the ability to have affordable access to a sales manager coming to your office to actually practically administer an agenda of your, of your request. So basically, you select the training, you select the listing boost that you might want, or you might want uh, a bunch of 
uh, sales that occur from a management of the price expectation in your inventory, whatever it is that you require, we put that agenda together with you, we come out to your office, and it is performed in tandem with the sales team. Once that's delivered, we then show you how to ensure, with our support, with us sitting behind it, how to ensure that the team deliver those results in productivity. But importantly, we like to leave a legacy that demonstrates to you exactly how to hands-on manage a sales team. And we like to make this instantly affordable, which you'll see in the investment component in just a few moments. The final part of the acronym is, of course, mentoring. So in the STEAM acronym, we've talked about support, we've talked about training, the two-day course, we've definitely talked about the equipment that's available via the online resource, of course, access with Steam shot when we come out to your office. And now finally, it's the mentoring component, which we refer to as Steam Room. Fundamentally, Steam Room will be delivered on the first Monday of each month via a webinar that will be recorded for your reference. So if you can't make the webinar at any time, the recording will instantly be made available to you. Now, Steam Room is fundamentally about living the sales manager's role. It's about the practicality of implementation. It's about the practicality of sharing or an exchange of issues that we're confronting in terms of implementation and boosting productivity and increasing efficiencies. So we'll quite often share, with the permission of those that have requested it, some problem that we've overcome via the support line. We'll talk about the transfer of knowledge and skill. So it's about sharing experiences so it is also interactive, notwithstanding the fact that the first half of each Steam Room session will be themed, then we will have great discussion around it, all with one thing in mind, ensuring that everything that you learn with the Steam product is then implemented into practical application. Now the first of these Steam Rooms will be on May 21. It was initially scheduled for earlier this month, but we wanted to give other people time to jump on board and ensure that we could all have a good look at it because what I would like to do is have as many people as I practically can uh, interactively involved with the first webinar, notwithstanding that some people may not be able to make it. But the first one is about an analysis of your sales team's performance. In much the same way as we built the Biggest Lister, we ask you to volunteer to us a history over the last 12 months of the listings and sales that your team has produced. We also look at some key indicators like conversion ratios and, 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 and other information. Now, this is confidential information that's retained by sales manager with one thing in mind, improving those figures dramatically. Because once we have that benchmark from you, we can then consciously go about helping you forge ahead with your sales team's productivity. On June 4, we'll talk about your target market capacity. We have learned that many sales managers have not identified the capacity that they have to grow the listings and sales business inside the market that they operate. If indeed your target market capacity does not allow you to grow to the level that you want to, well then we start to talk about identifying new markets, how we can break them, and how we can increase that capacity in, that is commensurate with the sales team's capacity to perform. On July 2, we'll be talking about understanding your stock flow. Now we think this is absolutely critical, that you have an understanding of where your listings are originating from and where the bulk of those are originating from, we can then actually push more resource toward that to even greatly enhance those numbers. And then, of course, we might look at some areas where you're getting very little return for the investment that you're making in time and money in creating listings with a particular function. And if necessary, we'll cut those out, but look to replace them with others so that we actually get greater listings and sales productivity. These are three wonderful webinars inside a steam room and if you'll notice they all occur before the July 24 and 25 training regime. Our aim is to get you started right away. Let's get focused on boosting your sales and listings capacity. It's at this point that I'll mention Cream, 
which is the flagship product inside the Cream system. It is basically Corporate Real Estate Agency Manager. So this is the regime that shows you how to manage the overall real estate sales business. We say in the corporate vein. Now I should say here that corporate, the word corporate does not mean big necessarily. It basically means collective and it is the way that most real estate agencies should be run. In brief, there are other recordings that explain this, but I'll explain to you right now what that particular product comprises of. We say that this system, that any real estate agency business, is underpinned by seven pillars. The first being the client, fairly obvious. Any sales business is dependent upon its new customers or clientele and existing customers frequenting the business. Secondly, leadership. We need leadership from the top, the ability to create the vision and to lead the team via influence culturally and practically to a worthy ideal. The third component is management, which in part is solved by the sales manager and of course Steam. And of course, sales manager was born out of cream, out of corporate manager. But there's a second side to management and that is of course is the administrative function. This is taught inside Cream how to create a system that manages the business from an administrative point of view. Functionality, we call it. The third component, or the fourth, I should say, is the salesperson. Now, this is fundamentally underpinned by another product that we have, which, of course, is sales trainer. But in essence, what we teach here is about recruiting. It's about retaining. It's about building a business, a sales business, which let's face it, is the people business and is fundamentally fundamentally dependent upon salespeople. The fourth component, or the fifth component, I'll keep getting out of numbers here, the fifth component is of course marketing. Now we have another product called Property Marketer, which contains listing pad and a market roundup and a whole lot of other marketing regimes that relate to the real estate business. We show you how to create perceptions, how to use perceptions, to drive up income, to drive growth, and to drive the business toward prosperity. The sixth component is technology. Not in the sense that we're looking at technology to simply make the business easily more operable and convenient, although albeit that that's necessary, but we show you how to evaluate technology for its link back to prosperity, for its link to income, for its link to greater profitability, how to identify those components and install the right technology so that the business becomes more prosperous. And then finally, we talk about the seventh pillar, which is prosperity itself. How to create continual profitability, how to create bro growth, but more importantly, how to create long-term security so that you build a bulletproof real estate sales business that is there in perpetuity. And now for the investment component. We think this represents absolute value because not only is this a product of unique design and unrivaled in the marketplace, we also have made it economical. We like to think that it's a no-brainer for any sales manager or indeed agency principal to consider. In the first instance, should you be an agency principal that is also managing the business? You are able to have, at the top line it says there, Cream and Steam, I appreciate that you need to have a look at the Cream product, for a monthly subscription of just $385. That will include, with Cream, the three-day seminar and a product that pretty much parallels this, albeit that it is focused on the management of the agency business overall. But you also have included to you, as the principal, the ability to come along to Steam and see the same thing. Steam alone, should you decide to take it on, is an investment of $220. So if you just want to look at the sales management component, we're okay with that. You're more than welcome to embrace that alone and come along to it. If you want cream and steam, which means an agency principal taking it on at the 385, plus an extra steam, which means if you have a dedicated sales manager or a sales manager in the grooming and you'd like them to attend STEAM with you at the same time. It's just all up 
a $495 investment, which is basically another $110 a month, basically half price for the extra one in Steam. The only other additional cost, of course, is Steam Shot. And this is where we come out for a half day, or sometimes it usually extends to a full day, in-house solution. Now this will be at a cost of $1,650, and we must limit it at this stage to two per annum at that cost. Of course, if we are not oversubscribed and we happen to be in your area, we're more than welcome to add it on or give you an additional one as we see fit. Now the only conditions that you see there are down the bottom, it's a minimum 18 month commitment should you decide to take this product on. Now the, the, the management, the cream management three day component alone, or the steam two day component alone is extraordinary value over an 18 month spacing. We'd like to think that you're gonna be with us for life as we grow the business and you can clearly identify a link to profit by having been involved inside of the cream system. And for those of you that want to are ready to go full steam ahead and make the commitment today, we have an introductory offer to the first 50 registrants. Now initially this was set out for the first 20, but we're already subscribed to that number, so we extended it to 50 people. And basically, should you sign up immediately and be in the first 50, you can receive a Steam Shot that is a half day office visit where we administer an agenda of your design to boost your listings or sales productivity for just a mere $825. Now this is going to translate to at least three to five additional sales that you haven't already made. So I think that's a bargain at any price, but at $825, you just have to pick up the phone almost immediately. I'd like to thank you for listening to this recording. I hope that you can see that we are building a product that is fundamentally focused on boosting your prosperity as a real estate agency and certainly boosting your prosperity or your capacity and indeed your ability as a sales manager. For more information on this product, please drop across to corporatemanager.com.au or at least keep an eye on it. Um, if you'd like to enrol, you can do it there on corporatemanager.com.au. You're welcome to email me, mark at salestrainer.com.au or you can telephone me on 0404 820070. Leave a message with a time that is convenient for me to call you back and I'll be speaking with you shortly. We hope you jump on board with Steam, the ultimate real estate sales management product, and let's go full steam ahead to the land of prosperity and listings and sales like never before. Oh, wait.